Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Scorpio, this is a special tarot reading session for you, Scorpio. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, Scorpio, we will be looking into the spiritual message of the new moon in Gemini in your sign. And also, we will pick up an intuitive message um, in the next 24 hours or 2 to 3 days from now. So this is a special tarot reading session for you. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for being here. If you would like to further, um, you know, pick up an intuitive message, I invite you, Scorpio, to also follow me in my main channel. The details of the main channel, the link to the main channel is down in the description box below. So let's look into the new moon in Gemini. What will it bring to you? It, it is very mystic, okay? The new moon in Gemini... I can feel the air, the ground, and the ether, how the vibe of the new moon in Gemini is unfolding. I really feel like the, the new moon in Gemini, it's very inquisitive, okay? It is encouraging you, Scorpio, to really explore, listen, and be curious about the information, people, and intuition that you will pick up along the way okay i feel like there is a you know three to six months moon beam of this uh, gemini so explore what you feel your intuition is telling you also pay attention with opportunities or i would say creative idea creative spark that will come to you in the next two to three days okay this is a very spiritual new moon it has the Neptune in Piscean element, which is very deep. And um, it's also very grounding. And after that, I think there would be a retrograde. I think it's Pluto or Saturn. But looking into normally the way I tap into astrology in combination with my intuition, I would feel the ethers, the air, before I compare my intuitive feelings to astrology. Okay, that's how I do it. I go organic. I go natural on my intuition, you know, around me, the air, the ground, you know, by meditation before I actually read astrology notes. Okay, I always follow my gut. So it's very mystical. It's very spiritual. And in a collective reading, I find the new moon in Gemini, uh, you know, in general, it is very inquisitive. In relationship, it's very playful. It's very romantic. And it is in combination of the Pisces energy, which is mutable sign. Gemini, mutable sign. Pisces, mutable sign. So it's going to be very flexible and adaptable. Okay? So you will navigate in this new moon in a very light-hearted vibe, Scorpio. So I'll, com I'll combine my intuition in the astrological information i read online and then i will pick up the best advice for you scorpio what's the spiritual message for scorpio please and what other intuitive message that is ready for you to know and meant for you to know in love career money in general inspiration ship okay I'll pick up one card for your spiritual message, Scorpio. And you have the, you've got the psychic healing. Okay, look at that. This is your spiritual message is the psychic healing. Um, looking into astrology, this new moon in Gemini, it's actually um, falling into your eighth house, which is the eighth house is your joint resources. And also, it's going to tap into your emotional. Um, the ta it's going to tap into your emotional intuitiveness. So with the psychic healing, it looks like you have to revise. You have to, this is you, closing your eyes, you know. The spiritual message for you is that it looks like this one are, it looks like you're healing or cleansing. But this is you. You close your eyes. You tap into the owl. And by tapping into your intuition, it is igniting you a different sense of emotions in here. 
like in a collective reading collective reading scorpio this is practical emotions okay something tells me that with the new moon in gemini you will actually you will have this reality check you close your eyes and you will have a reality check with your higher self your higher consciousness you know represented by the owl is it worth investing your emotions is it practical to have these emotions to people things project how heavily invested you are to a person to a project to a situation and is it necessary is it practical to have that huge emotional investment or attachment with this person with the situation with this thing or project like this is about because i'm seeing the hands you're emotionally invested into something it could be family it could be work it could be a thing you know it could because i have an emotional investment with my car is it practical you know i'm emotionally connected to my car <laughs> it's a thing but emotionally it makes me happy because it represents my growth my achievement it was represented by that thing by the car because i love cars so it feels like with you scorpio one of the main spiritual message for you is to look at the emotional investment and is it practical to have that emotional investment to people person situation or thing does it really hold that amount of emotion do, do you have to have that amount of emotion to this person or people it's asking you it's more of a reading it's more of a vibe where you ha you have to familiar 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 familiarize yourself again with emotions versus practicality okay this is a territory that i believe you're very comfortable with because you're a very emotional being. So you might find yourself that when it comes to connecting emotions with friends, family, or lovers, superficial talk, it won't, um, it won't work. So if there is a person or a situation that it feels emotionally superficial to maintain, or it doesn't satisfy your emotional well-being, you will be practical to detach with it. Whether this is a person, a situation, or people, you would be very, very practical in the way you update your repository of emotions or the emotions that you feel. Like right now, who are the people you're emotionally invested with? And the amount of emotional attachment or in the amount of emotional investment or emotional energy that you put towards that person or thing or project is it really the right amount do you need to adjust it to low or high that is the question for you look at that and you all you're also being advised to be practical so if you're super duper invested to this thing or person or situation are they invested to you is it fulfilling you is it feeling like contentment or fulfillment or is it frustration so that new moon in gemini will question you that and you will have an answer spiritually i feel like this is gonna be a very quick answer and question like a q a for you scorpio like if i ask you now is this person practically is it is there an emotional you know is it practical to invest with them emotionally this person what about this you would say yes no maybe Okay, I lowered down my investment emotionally, you know. Psychic healing. Also, with the psychic healing in here, if you look at your eyes, it's looking into something. I feel like it will also open your voice, you know, because I'm seeing, I'm not seeing the throat in here. One of the spiritual message that also comes strong in here, Scorpio, is that it will open your voice to really... Like the voice out if you're not happy with the emotional return in here. It's very personal, you know. And for some of you, it could be 30% professional and material. Because I'm also picking up in here. Because like, I'm seeing here, 
I don't know, I'm seeing materialistic in here with a mirror. I'm seeing a lot of earthly vibe with like earthly practical and your attachment towards things, your emotional, because we, we can also have like emotional eating, emotional of this. So there's something about that Scorpio that you would have a Q&A during the new moon. And I believe this is going to be an easy um, Q&A for yourself to look into the practicality of the emotional investment that you give to your friends, your family, your lovers. Not only that, but the activities that you invest to, you know, the emotional part of it. And I believe, I, I believe after the new moon, you will be able to find the voice in your heart to express like, look, you're not, si you're not satisfying me emotionally. I'm not fulfilled emotionally and contented with what you give. You'll find that voice in here. Give it two to three days. You'll be able to, to put a structure in, in the emotional investment and in the, in the amount of energy. Because if you are emotionally investment, then you put a lot of energy in there, you know, most especially when it comes to emotional intimacy is it worth sharing this intimate thoughts feelings to these friends to this person you know you will question that and you will have an easy q a you question you audit and somehow by reflecting in that you will be able to update your emotional needs and wants and how you are being satisfied with the people if not you're going to change it, Scorpio. There's a lot of that in the next two to three days for you. So take your time. This is, I feel like it's more of the approach in here with a psychic healing. It should be done in a light-hearted manner. You shouldn't not, you shouldn't really, because I'm seeing the mirror in here and there's a bit of intensity. In the last two to three days, there is an intensity in here, in you, especially Scorpio. So you're trying to kind of forge there's a part of you that you're emotionally not contented with, like in the last two to three days, notice that you're emotionally not satisfied from what you're getting or what you're, because you're like, this is about joint resources, Scorpio, like you're sharing your, you're sharing yourself, you're sharing your money, you're sharing your emotions. Are they giving back? You know, that those are the things that, you know, might ask, you might ask yourself and you should do it practically. You should do it not intensely. Okay? New one message. All right? Now, let's pick up more intuitive message for you, Scorpio. You've got in here, like what I said, resources. You know, when I say resources, Scorpio, this is involving money. Um, this is also how much you give to the outside world. When you give, Scorpio, you give a 10 and that's nice of you. Then, Empress card. A Scorpio is never gray area. I tell you guys, you're either zero or you're either zero or ten. So with the Ten of Pentacles and the Empress card, one of the one of the Scorpio, I've I've never met a Scorpio who is stingy. I've never I've never ever met a Scorpio who is frugal. A Scorpio is always. A Scorpio is very bountiful and abundance in terms of giving, in terms of resources, in terms of love, in terms of money. You're very like that. And this represents a 10. Okay? So 10 and Empress card, when you love, you freaking love so hard. You give everything that you sometimes you forget yourself. When you put, you know, you, when you put something out there, you give a 10. Not a 9, not an 8, not midpoint. Because you know that things or objective or goal in life, most of it, you find it successful if you give your all. So your all or nothing in here. So in the recent past, you know, Ten of Pentacles, the Empress card, you realize that you're so proud giving a 10 to somebody or to someone. But then you have an inner conflict in here, Five of Wands. You're giving a 10. Are they giving, giving back the same amount? So this is probably what the shared resources I'm picking up with your new moon in Gemini. So the contribution you give is 100. Are they giving 100 as well? So there's a shared resources that you're questioning with somebody, with someone. And is it emotionally fulfilling you that you've got to cover 100 and they only have to cover 30? Is it, is it fulfilling? 
to be do to be doing that is it emotionally fulfilling or is it practical scorpio to be giving 100 percent? i mean morally like there's something that you're proud empress card you know there's something that you're proud you're helping you're giving you're loving but is it practical like uh, after a month if i ask you you know probably yeah after a month if uh, three three you know three to six months from now because number three if i ask you especially around the month of october is it going is the you know contribution you give to this person situation do you think they will return that because in here the ten of pentacles the empress card it feels like you're so happy giving and supporting and loving and giving a 10 even though you're getting less but soon you will have an inner conflict or probably you're having an inner conflict now because the five of ones in here is that you are so generous to love to give to share your resources but at some point five of ones is it still good to do this you know is it still worth it to share my resources this specific resources to someone is it fulfilling in the beginning it was you know it's like a, it's a pleasure helping you it's a pleasure helping you it's a pleasure loving you it is my utmost like something tells me you're so feeling good about helping or loving or giving more than what you should be and something happened now you're questioning yourself is it still worth giving the 10 to this person's situation given the circum given the circumstances that you have right now is it still worth giving the 10 are you saving up something for yourself i mean three to six months from now do you think this mental methodology the shared resources this contribution that you give the shared resources do you think it's still gonna work are you saving something for yourself are you covering the ground for yourself emotional practicality emotional investment you know maybe connected to money because the, the reading i pick up for you scorpio is more of because you love this person you give whatever you have there's an emotional it's like emotional eating you feel like you're eating because you're emotional something like that so practically because just because you love them so much doesn't mean you have to give your money right this is the conflict the five of ones like you don't spare them the benefit like you spare them the benefit of the doubt because you have feelings for them your emotional side in the past your emotional feelings it's driving you to give this 10 but now you're questioning that you're questioning this decision this methodology this mental strategy is it still worth it regardless of who this person is it feels like you're forging yourself or there's a bond or forging yourself to do something that practically mm -hmm, it's no longer working in the past it's gonna work but it looks like from now it doesn't and the external energy scorpio is the eight of cups so that person who you're giving them the ten they're giving you an eight of cups okay practically you're super duper invested with them you know you're in love possibly you give it all your person that external energy they're winning because they're milking you okay practically whoever this person is situation is you're realizing that they're milking you six of ones they're winning because they're they're extracting your resources whether it's love money intelligence you know for some of you guys you, you're so intelligent you share your secret your copyright you know because oh you lo i love you you're my best friend you don't keep privacy scorpio oh scorpio those secret privacy secret ingredients in your brand you don't share that it's something really personal you've got to leave something private just for yourself even your closest people you've got to leave something private so six of ones the external energy connected to you they're winning because they're extracting something they they're not emotional they're invested with you whoever this person is or situation they're winning because partly they're emotionally invested with you and partly not you know because eight of cups three you give them seven of cups seven of like you know three three minus ten is seven of cups that's what you give them seven of cups seven seven of cups is overwhelming smothering 
outpour outpouring of emotion and you don't understand why you're giving that the seven of cups it's not here but it's because eight of cups this is your person the person the situation is connected to you they're emotionally not available i don't think they're emotionally invested to you but only three of cups and 10 minus three because we don't have 11 in tarot so your person is emotionally invested but only three and you're seven imagine that imagine the difference you're seven you're giving them seven as your investment they're only giving you three they're winning and the seven is about smothering the the seven is about overwhelming the seven is about pouring your heart out you know and the seven of cups is also confused so you're probably confused right now or recently why am i giving this again you know you're giving something but you're confused why are you giving this support this love this money this benefit of the doubt possibly for some of you so that is a new moon illuminating you is that you have, you've got to update your shared resources you've got to update your shared resources you've got to update what you contribute because it's no longer applicable to your circumstances right now okay so in the immediate future like what i said practical magic so you're going to put a lot of magic in your emotional space in the resources of your life where you need to kind of save for yourself and cover your ground and look at that as a result nine of cups you're happy because you're prioritizing what you need you've got you know you're conserving energy feelings investment and all of that goes to a scorpio bank and because you're covering the ground and investing to your scorpio bank of emotions money and energy you are happy i tell you in life in this lifetime your main priority is to be happy is to feel good if a person you want no matter how you want a person how you want a situation if you don't feel happy doing it don't you know it's it's a reading where you've got to be a scorpio you've got to really do what makes you happy you know queen of wands you've got to fill in the emotional inadequacy that you're giving to people and that is by saving you know, saving yourself drama saving moving away from people that you'll be broken hearted moving away practically with people's situation that emotionally disappoint you you become the queen of wands this is practical magic this is emotional um being practical when it comes to sharing shared resources yeah queen of wands let's see what's coming towards you the sun card the five of swords now they learn okay like when you keep like something tells me in here you've got to forge yourself and say hey sorry guys i'm gonna keep these emotions with me this money these resources okay it's not for sale anymore <laughs> you're not for sale you're not pro bono you're not for sale <laughs> look at them okay cool five of swords oh wait a minute scorpio we actually need you well i'm not for sale You've got to give me something in order for you to experience a Scorpio resources, a Scorpio energy, a Scorpio love, you know. So you're realizing your power is not into giving. It's equal give and take. It's not to giving 10. It's equal give and take. It's a 50-50. Nobody on earth, like I have never experienced, like if you give 80%, you will be satisfied. No, eventually it's going to burn you out. It's always should be 50-50. So Scorpio, fill in, okay, those emotionals, like emotionals, whatever resources you have that you feel like you've got to question, this joint resources, this contribution, whether it's, it's your emotions, your energy, your money, maybe your talent. If you feel like, why is my, why is my intuition, you know, your intuition, your higher self is talking to you and telling you. Why are you questioning this and this and that before you don't question it? Because you're no longer satisfied, you know? And you've got to honor yourself. You've got to honor your feelings. You've got to honor your life. You've got to save something in your Scorpio bank. 
you don't just give away that Scorpio power, the Scorpio energy, that Scorpio love. No, you're not a pro bono. Queen of Wands, never. You're a rare breed. You're a specialty. So this is your reading, Scorpio. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for connecting with me. So you've got the Sun card, the Five of Swords. In here, it looks like they will come back to you and they will want more. But you're the Queen of Wands. You've got some rules, a new grounding rules before you actually approve this person or situation to milk your resources. Someone is milking your resources. Or at least that's the, that's the vibe in here is that you'll be looking into people who's getting resources from you. You're not going to give any more. No more pro bono. No, no more 50% off sale. They, if, they, if they want you, they can have you, but you're not for sale in here. And they will want you. You know, in the past, so easy to get something from you. Now, it's upon request. You're not even on the shelf. The Queen of Wands, she's not normally in display. You're not on display. You're hidden. You know, if you go to Louis Vuitton, if you are sick, like a customer... They go you in special room. That's a Scorpio. You're in a special room. Guys, you're special. You're very magical, Scorpio. Don't give away your power. Alrighty? So this is your reading. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for connecting with me. Please don't forget to click the bell and click subscribe. Private reading, merchandise, everything is processed in the website. I will see you soon again, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye.